Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another Project Pan update. This is for the It's Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. It was created by Deb B. And uh, Danny from Danny's Makeup collaborated with Deb on this project. For this project, they took a whole bunch of prompts and decided to create uh, they took a whole bunch of different things related to animals, like different breeds and stuff like that, and decided to make prompts to go along with them. They suggested that we do this project roulette style, that we start off with six prompts and we do monthly updates on the 22nd. This project started on October 22nd, 2022, and it is going until October 22nd of this year. I really hope they bring this back because if I don't finish all the prompts, I might keep it going anyway just because I'm going to want to finish. These are so stinking cute. Um, yeah, so let me get on with my update. So this is going to be a two-month update because I had surgery last month, so I did not update this project. Or did I? Did I update this project? I might have, but whatever, I digress. The first product I had in was for ball slash toys, something that always rolls away, lippy, mascara, liner, etc. I had in my NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. And my original goal was to get to the P in makeup. And I was like, you know what, if I do that, this is going to be in the project forever. So I amended my goal and I decided to change it to a 20 use goal and I hit that goal. I'm really excited. I've been carrying around my lippy bag with me like everywhere. Here is a swatch of this lip pencil. It's really easy shade for me to use. I used it at school constantly and I hit that 20 um, time limit so this is going to roll out of the project. The next update I had in was for Rottweiler, a product you were scared of at first but fell in love with, and that is this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Georgette. This is a gorgeous color. You can see like there's some discoloration around the edges, and that's because like I've had other products on my brush when I go to use this. My goal is to hit pan in this, and obviously like you can see I haven't done that yet, but here is a swatch of it. It was so scary to me at first because I'm like, who would wear this bright coral blush? Like, I think I have to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Achoo! <coughs> Bless me again. Um. Anyway, but I was, now I'm like, me, I would wear a bright or uh, coral or orange blush. I really enjoy it. I do tend to wear this under foundation or I layer something on top because it's a satin. It doesn't really have any shimmer. And I do like a shimmer blush. But I don't know how much longer it's going to take to hit pan. But you can see, like, there is a dip. It's like, I'm not, I'm not using it, like, I'm not drilling down. But, like, so you can kind of see. But, I mean... I'm not like drilling down into the middle to hit pan, but I'm not wearing it completely even across. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, staying in the project. Um, boxer, items still in the boxer packaging. When I pulled this prompt, I pulled in my thorn oil from Ritual Defeat. I love this product, but I have to get using it because my goal is to get to where that circle is. And you can see, like, I am barely below that other black mark. So I'm going to mark this um, before. Yeah, I don't even think I can mark it. I'm not going to mark it because it's, like, ridiculous. But it's starting to get warmer, and I do like it, but I have to let it sit for, I have to use less of it right now. So it's not going to, it's going to take me longer to use it. So Anyway, the long and the short of it is it's going to be in the project for a while longer, longer than I anticipated. So, but that's okay. I really, really like that product and I really love the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, but I'm finding that I am using this as well and I like them both. So, yay. Um, for the next prompt, service slash emotional support animal, something that's loyal. Um, a product that never lets you down. I put in my Charlotte Contour, uh, contour Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, and this is in the shade uh, Fair Medium. I love this thing. There is an air bubble in it, so like I wasn't able to make another mark. Actually, maybe I can. It's a little bit lower, but I'm just going to leave it where it's at for right now. 
This product is so lovely. When I first got it, I was like, oh my God, that's so dark. But it just shares out beautifully. I really want to try like the e.l.f. one to see. I've seen people do videos on it and um, I don't think it's as cool toned. But I just recently purchased the new Milk Makeup Contour Stick and Toasted. And I'm wondering if that's the same. Because like I am all over these like cream bronzers and cream products lately. But this one especially is such a nice contour because it's like more cool toned. It's not as orange and that's what I like on me. So that is sticking around a wound, a wound that's sticking a wound because my goal is to finish it and I'm not finished with it yet. Um, for border collie, something that's highly intelligent, something that doesn't require any skill to use. I pulled in my Tarte lipstick, and this is the lip sculptor. There's a lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other. My goal was to finish the lipstick, and this is where I was at last time. I had to go all the way down to there. So I will show you that I am done. I do not dig out my lippies, but here's what happened. I, I'm going to be transparent and honest. I had like the tiniest bit left. And if I was trying to put it on at school, this is this was such a tiny little bullet. It kept like wiggling around in there and it, it broke off. Let me show see if I can show you a, a swatch of this because it is really pretty. It's like right there, kind of the color it was. But it was a really pretty nude color. But here's what happened. I was putting it on at school one day and it fell off and it like rolled on the floor, rolled on my desk. And like I grade papers, like there's pencil shavings everywhere, like ew. But I was like, I didn't think of that at first. And I was like, okay, I'll just put it in a container. So I did, I put it in a little Ziploc and I was like, I'll put it in a container and use it for blush. And then I thought about it some more and I was like, ew, that was like on my desk with all the pencil shavings and grossness. So I didn't save it, I threw it out. But I was almost done with it. So I'm counting it as an empty. I finished the lipstick part. I'm sorry if you think that's cheating, but I like, ew, no way. For the next product, Bijan Frise Hypoallergenic, a clean makeup or skincare product. Rosie is part Bijan. Um, I pulled in my Westman Atelier samples. I had a trio. One was a highlighter. One was a, a bra, uh, sculpting, you know, contour. And the other one is a blush. And I finished the contour and the highlighter. And I have, you can see the windowing, but I have just this little bit of blush left. So when they're all done, I will show you all of the three empty packaging. I've been keeping it closed with these little, this little clip. Um, I've seen people use bobby pins too, and that works great as well. But that product is still, that, that prompt is still staying in because I still have to finish that item. Um, for Munchkin Cat, something that's childlike their entire lives, these little kitties, you should go look at them up. They are so freaking cute. Something with childlike packaging, Hello Kitty, etc. I took it literally and I was like, I'm going to put in like a mini, like a childlike small product. So I pulled in my pretty fresh foundation. This is a mini and it's in the shade light 50W. I'm wearing it today. It's lovely. Um, it's in to finish. So this will be in for the long haul too. Cat tree item with asymmetrical packaging or stackable products. I had a hard time finding something for this. I was like really overthinking the asymmetrical packaging thing. But like in the end, I pulled this in because I feel like this is asymmetrical and I got the A-OK -okay on the last update when I brought this in. But this is my um, Milani Luminoso blush. It is a dome, a baked dome product, and it's really beautiful. I have a 10 use goal on it, and I've used it so far two times. So let me show you. There it is right there. It is so lovely. Um, I am wearing it today over the um, Georgette color, the this one, the satin one from ColourPop, and it is just gorgeous. Let me mark down my uses because I forgot to put that on. And then last but not least, I have this Milani lipstick. This is a matte shade in Naked. I was hearing all about this all over the YouTubes when I first started, so I was like, I have got to try this. It is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk, but I really enjoy this one better. I don't know why. But my goal is to get from this line to that dot, and I will show you my progress, and then I'll mark it after this video. But here we are. You can see I am really close because I'm about halfway there. So I'm really excited. You can see that I've used it. And um, here is a swatch right there. Love it. I'm super happy with it. I wear it a lot at work. 
Um, I was pairing it with this NYX liner. I'm now pairing it with another liner and a gloss, and I'm really super liking it. So I had two items that can roll out. I got my pretty random app ready, um, and I put in la 19 through 39, because on my spreadsheet, that's where it is, and I'm gonna randomize two prompts because I'm rolling two things out. 24, 39. I will be back to let you know what those two prompts are and show you the items I'm bringing in for them. Okay, I'm back. This was really hard. Okay, one of the prompts was really hard. Okay, here's what I got. First, I got the prompt Ragdoll, known for their blue eyes, blue product, name, product, packaging, etc. So I went into my new makeup bin and I pulled out this blush that has blue on the packaging and it's the Benefit Blush named Willa. Look at how pretty that blue is. So gorgeous. So here is what the blush looks like. I'm so excited. This is like a Kim blush for sure. And there is the shade. So pretty. That's what it looks like. So I'm putting this in with a usage goal of 10 times. The next prompt was something that I was like, I have no idea. So the prompt was for Mutt, a product you have to mix with something else to use. So I went on my group chat and I was like, I don't have anything that I have to mix with something else to use. And they were like, what about like a vitamin C powder that you have to mix with water, a mask you have to mix with water, like whatever mixed water. I was like, no. And then it was like a too dark highlighter that you would put in lotion. I'm like, not that I can think of. I mean, I know I have that orange one, but I wouldn't put that in a lotion either if it didn't work. So anyway, in the end, I decided to pull in a lipstick because this is a lipstick I would not wear on its own. I mix it with my darker colors. So I decided to put in my e.l.f. lipstick. This is the shade Cream. It's like the seriously satin lipstick. And here is the shade of it. I've had this in another project, but putting it on my lips alone is like total concealer lips and it's way too light. So I'm putting this in for a 10 usage, 10 times usage goal. And that's what I'm gonna use for a product you have to mix with something else. I hope that's okay. Anyway, yeah, that's my update for It's Panning Cats and Dogs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.